Hi, I'm Trey Harris here with Jeff Jarvis. Uh, I'd like your help with an experiment. I've been on Google Plus since its first day, and I think one of its greatest strengths that set it apart is the great conversations. I've been surprised again and again by the insight, the humor, the diversity of experience that comes from ordinary people coming together to talk about ideas. It's more immediate than the blogosphere, but allows for more subtlety and complexity than the short form of tweets. The conversation, in my opinion, is Google Plus's killer feature. So what's this killer app? Well, that has to be Hangouts. Google Plus Hangouts bring a new accessibility to group real-time face-to-face in a form that doesn't require expensive equipment or paying for a video conferencing service. Jeff and I are using one right now. But like any new technology, people aren't quite sure what to do with it. And if you join some Hangouts, you've probably seen a few where everyone seems to spend most of their time just greeting the newest person to join and asking them where they're from and what they do. So what if we could bring these great killer aspects together? Great conversations, real time, and face-to-face. -face. I've got an idea how, but first, we need something to talk about. Uh, CUNY journalism professor Jeff Jarvis has a great new Amazon Kindle single, Gutenberg the Geek. You'll see a link to it in this post below. So Jeff, my first question, what's a Kindle single? A Kindle single is a way for a writer to do a new kind of short between 5,000 and I think 30,000 word piece and can sell it for 99 cents to 2.99 on Kindle. And what it really is, I think Kindle looks at it as a mini book, but I look at it as an unbundled magazine. And it really amounts to being able to sell an essay, a short story, something like that, and the author remains in glorious control. Hmm. So uh, what about your Kindle single, Gutenberg the Geek? I was researching my last book, and I probably mean last book, because uh, books will be dying soon, called Public Parts, and I got obsessed with Gutenberg. And uh, I decided to try to look at his uh, career and try to argue that he was the first technology entrepreneur and that his experience, the, the things he had to overcome, the problems he had, the successes he had, were very much like any entrepreneur in Silicon Valley today. And there's a continuum there. And then I also wanted to look at, of course, at Gutenberg's ongoing influence and on the parallel to our Gutenberg press that we all have in our hands today, the Internet. So, Jeff, uh, you and I were, I uh, don't know if you remember, on one of the very first public Hangouts in Google Plus's very first day of public field trial. So uh, I'm really happy that uh, you're joining me in this uh, little experiment. And uh, so here's how it'll work. We start the conversation in this Google Plus post in the comments below. Uh, read Gutenberg the Geek and then add your thoughts about the essay. Respond to other comments and uh, you know, tell us what questions you'd ask Jeff about it. And on, sun, on, uh, sorry, on Saturday, uh, we'll pick a few people whose comments are especially engaging. And uh, we'll contact you with an invitation to a special hangout that Jeff and I will be doing on Sunday, April 1st uh, at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, 2000 UTC, uh, where we'll talk with you about the points you raise in your comments or wherever else the conversation takes us. That Hangout will be broadcast live on YouTube and will also be available to be watched later. Uh, the full details can be found at the Google Plus post below. Yeah, and I think that what's exciting about this is not that just that we can use this as a conversation, but I actually think this is the beginning of disrupting also the conference business and the speaker business and all that. So I hope we have a great conversation. And by the way, it's not just questions, it's arguments, it's challenges. I, uh, I hope to have a lot of fun, and I'm grateful that Trey is involving me in this wonderful experiment. Thanks. Uh, I, I look forward to seeing you all join the experiment and the conversation. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, thank you, and thanks, Jeff.
Thanks, Fred.